a small and completely empty room together with a cheap guitar with old strings probably one of the worst places and situations to record your music but it could also lead to something inspirational hello everybody today i thought i'd try something new i wanted to share with you my new music room or actually my new to become music room and as you might be able to hear the sound is quite horrible in this place uh, because it's empty and it's still untreated so i thought why not take the opportunity and record some music Basically, I have all the ingredients for a bad recording. Normally, you would not record music in a room like this because you don't want it to color your sound. What this coloring of your recording means is that you will hear the often bad room tone and reverberation of the room in your recording. Because there is so much echo going on in this room, I am recording this episode with my dynamic microphone. This mic is less sensitive and has less proximity effect, so I can talk closer to the mic. And it will pick up less of the room sound. In some styles you actually do want to hear the sound of the room. Because they're being performed in a location that's especially designed for this. For example, a concert hall, or some churches, or a music studio. This means that you really want to hear the natural sound of the reverb that this hall gives you. This is especially the case, for example, in classical music. With pop music and many other styles, you actually want to have as little room sound as possible. Because we're going to be playing around with the audio, we want to separate it, we're going to EQ it, we're going to compress it, and most important of all, we're going to add delay and artificial reverb to the sound. In short, we want to remain flexible with what we can do with the sound. Comes a time, no words to choose. Say goodbye, numb and confused. On my own, on this road back to home. In the light, reflection. When your recording already has a very bad and distinguishable room tone, it will be very difficult to convincingly place this audio into a virtual space, so into a different room. Another reason why the recording circumstances are not good is because I have a very cheap guitar with super old strings. The problem with old strings is that they have no brilliance in them and they sound dull and lifeless. Recording vocals is even more problematic because it's louder than the guitar. So you'll hear even more of the room tone in your recording. And what I did not mention before was that a room like this also emphasizes certain frequencies and will also mask others. So my guitar and vocals, they will sound very boomy and more bass heavy, which is something that we need to correct after we recorded it. The song that you heard during this video, or the one that I recorded, is actually an example from my video on beautiful minor chord progressions, or Aeolian chord progressions, as they're also called. I decided to make it into a full song and to record it while the space is still empty. A full recording will be available on my Buy Me A Coffee support page. Rainy days, how they intrude. While I sit inside thinking of you Oh how I long for this call to be gone I 
And most important of all, I want to thank two of my supporters in this video. I want to thank Benjamin and I would like to thank the Wolf of Windham or the Wolf of Windham. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget to press the like button and to share the channel if the content is useful and if you like it. Because you have no idea how much your support actually helps. So keep making music and for now, see you next time.